Hello. So we're back Monday. And I'm start feeling better, you know, we might cold. Anyway, today we are here to learn how to program a BIOS. You know the bio, the, the Super IO chip, the big startup chip with the program inside? On well, the HP laptops, actually it's 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 very easy to program the BIOS. If you know other uh, make, other other brand which uh, can allow something like that, just just let me know. But from what I know, only the HP laptops allow for the user to flash a corrupt BIOS. Yeah, which is fantastic. So we have a HP laptop. Obviously, we have the, the, the light on the... Yeah, the laptop is coming on. But it's like that kind. It's, it's, you see, it's coming on. You can see the power there. Or oh, it's nothing on screen. And it's very easy to go wrong. And you think it's a hardware issue. You can think it's the screen. You can think it's the motherboard, the graphic chip, the processor, the RAM memory. You, you, you can think a lot of things, yeah? So the best is to try to reload the BIOS first. You know, you only really reload the BIOS and after that you can move over with your fault. Okay? Uh, this is a, a very simple thing, especially, but it's not necessary. Keep in mind, yeah? You see on this one, you can see the caps lock is flashing, like twice, which is a corrupt BIOS, yeah, but not always. I found laptops they they didn't they didn't have like a flashing caps look and still was a was a bias issue. So you see, it's no picture on screen. The laptop is still on, yeah. So it's very easy. You can go easily online, check for the model number. Already I checked and I I downloaded the software, but we can do it again. HP. <coughs> okay, let me switch. So you go online, you search for the model number, the HP model number and BIOS, and you go on the link to the manufacturer, yeah? HP on our case. And you have BIOS, BIOS, and you have the, the BIOS update, download. You download the software, simple, very simple. You open the software, you run the software. Next, next. And now you have few options for the BIOS. Next, create a recovery USB flash drive. Next, all you have to do now is to connect a USB, which I will do it now. So I just connect a USB. Let me delete the old one. Refresh. Next. And now it's creating the 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 USB drive, yeah? Very simple, very fast. Yeah, all done. Finish. Okay? That's all. And now, the laptop is still on, still then no picture on screen. So let, let me plug the USB. <coughs> so pay attention, yeah? Pay attention. Sorry, not all the laptops are the same, not all the HP are the same. So plugging up the charger, the USB stick, and uh, on this one, on this HP, it's working with Windows and V key. But on different HP, it can work with Windows and uh, B key. Or you can find work only with B key. Yeah? So you, you keep press the key and you press the power button and you, you still keep pressing the thing till you have you have a, a picture on the screen. On our case, <coughs> on our case, uh, we have Windows and B key together, pressing the power, and you keep you, you still keep pressing the keys. Yeah, you can see we have the light. Just keep the key pressed. And now it's loading the software from the USB stick, yeah? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, and we have backlight. 
and now we have picture and you can take the finger out from the keyboard and now it's reloading the bias it's not beautiful it is let's wait this should be this should be quick so you see from our laptop we cut a bias we will get a working one so I know this is working on HP laptops I don't know the other manufacturers if they allow that or allow something like that but let me know if you know more than me <coughs> let's just wait You remember replacing the super IO it's a pain we done it few times so actually you have to buy the chip from someone which uh, he can program the chip for you you have to replace the chip which is another pain job but HP <coughs> beautiful So try this first before you know jumping to a conclusion your motherboard is faulty or your screen because there's no picture it's nothing no backlight and you think you know something died on your motherboard but actually just a corrupt data on the bias yeah of the bias Yeah, and now it's restarting. The mouse is working. Just keep the power on. Yeah, and just leave it. He will uh, restart probably. Let's see. Bias recovery. Enter. And it's done. We have a working laptop. Like seven minutes incredible it's so easy now we can take out the we can take out the the, the thingy yeah and you can use the next time one more thing if it's not working and i want to say thank you with this uh, with this uh, video someone sent me it's it's a cheap monk usb tester which is great let's say if you can't you cannot recover the bios you just plug this and check if it's uh, if it's fine you see you have the led you have the red light which is mean uh, the power is fine you have the green flashing one which is mean it's, it's speaking with the the chipset the pch yeah it's a beautiful beautiful device i want just to say thank you for sending me this i just i just got the passage the the package today you're just a subscriber of this channel but thank you anyway this is not advertised so i have no idea where you can find something like that probably ebay but it's great to have to diagnose like let's say you you can't reprogram the bias you have to know if the voltage on the bias is fine if the data line, the line is fine or you can just try on different usb this laptop has three usb two here one here and we have a working laptop fantastic so you see it's not always hard and complicated to program a bias yeah okay try it try it on your laptop and next time when you have a dead laptop think twice before uh, you know okay it's a motherboard fault or uh, it's tricky because if it's a it's a customer job and you say look it's a motherboard fort and we are charging a lot and uh, the customer goes on another shop and the guy plug the usb and the laptop is ready in five minutes it's not good <laughs> okay so what i can say it's kind of quiet i don't really have many hardware jobs here but we'll see this week
Maybe we can do a tutorial about motherboard repairs. Christian, my colleague, ordered the chipset. You remember the video from yesterday with the burn chipset? He ordered the chipset from China. And uh, yeah, we are waiting for we are waiting for the chipset to replace it. And I will do a video about replacing that chipset. Okay. So I think that's all. Well, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. I don't think today. Or, or. Nah, not today. Probably tomorrow, yeah? Thank you. Bye.